Hello and welcome back to No Copay Tutorials. Today I'll be going over how to use ChemDoodle and PubChem to your advantage. So stay tuned. Hi and welcome back. So in this presentation I'll be going over the step-by-step -step process on how to use ChemDoodle and PubChem to your advantage. So I'll go over uh, like a recap of what I did last time. So remember that a smile string is a simplified molecular input line entry system. The single bonds are represented as uppercase C's or capital C hyphen C, or they can uh, explicitly show the hydrogens. Double bonds are represented with an equal sign in between the two C's, or it's just a lowercase C. And a triple bond is represented with a hashtag or a pound sign. So a recap of uh, what I did last time. So I compared the data found on PubChem and ChemDoodle with the uh, with the molecule heptane. So I went into ChemDoodle. I found the, uh, the structure. Then I found the smile string. And then I found the IUPAC name. And here are the instructions. And then I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I did. So if you could pull up um, ChemDoodle. It depends on your university, but some universities, they provide it for free. Um, if not, then you can use a trial version or you can purchase it. So first thing I clicked on was structure, then parse IUPAC name. I typed in heptane, click accept, and then ChemTutal will automatically draw out heptane for you. So while it's highlighted, go ahead and go over to structure, descriptor, actually structure generate line notation then daylight smiles this is a smile string like I talked uh, talked about before it kind of it represents like the uh, the skeletal structure of the molecule so go ahead and click copy to clipboard so then we're gonna go over to this icon it's like the text area draw a box and then just paste it in so I did control V so that's the smile strings. So I'll go ahead and label that. Next, I'll go ahead and find the IUPAC, um, the IUPAC Inchi key. So I'll go ahead and highlight um, the molecule again. Click on structure, generate line notation, then IUPAC Inchi key. Again, this will provide you the code. So go ahead and copy to clipboard. Click on your text box. So I'm going to label it IU, IU pack in she, and then I'll copy control V it. So there's the NG key. So since I have my two values, I'll go ahead and go to my browser. And so the software that I'm using is PubChem Beta. So you can just go onto Google, type in PubChem Beta. It'll be that first result. Go ahead and click on it, and it'll pull you up to this main screen. The next step you want to do is click on compounds, and just to check out, um, just to make sure that the content is in Chem or PubChem, go ahead and type in heptane into the main search bar under keyword. Click enter, and you should see that the first result is heptane. So go ahead and click on it, and yep. If you look at the structure, you can see it is parent a seven carbon parent chain. So I'll go back to that main screen. Go ahead and click on compound, structure, and you see right here in the text bar, you can type in the CID number, which is the number that's categorized for just heptane, which right here is just 8900. So we could test it out, 8900. And yep. The first molecule that pops up is heptane, and the PubChem CID is just specific just to PubChem. And if you go to Reaxes, you'll have to create an account. So if you type in um, this PubChem CID number 8900, it won't recognize it. Well, actually, I'm out of storage, but pretty much, yeah. Uh, Reaxis won't recognize it because PubChem CID is just Pacific just for PubChem. So I'll go back 
and so I'll go ahead and search up the smile string which as you remember it's just seven capitalized C's so one two three four five six seven click enter and you should see that your first result is heptane this makes sense because heptane is a seven um, seven carbon parent chain without any branches so I'll go ahead and look up the inchy key so if you go back to chem doodle I'm just gonna highlight this whole string of text remember that the inchy key it it's recognized by a computer but human beings we can't really comprehend what it means so go ahead and click enter and yep our first result is heptane again so you can click on it and we can compare the results you can see that the chemical name it's under heptane and heptane and then all these other names again the naming is unambiguous meaning that it is a structured um, naming system there shouldn't be any confusion molecular formula um, this is standard for heptane and then remember that um, like based on stereoisomers you could have different uh, molecules uh, with the same molecular formula but they could be drawn in a different way molecular weight is based on the molecular formula you can find the weight based on um, the individual atoms and you can calculate this with um, the periodic table inchy key again this can be used in different softwares and um, it's like universally known between the softwares so I'll go ahead and scroll down so as you can see on PubChem they have the 2D structure the 3D conformer with the hydrogens explicitly shown if you move on down to 3.1 descriptor um, the descriptors you could see the IUPAC name which is heptane the inchy key which is exactly the same as what we found um, with right here oh I'm gonna try to adjust yep our inchy key is exactly the same as what we found on chemdoodle then the inchy key is right below that the canonical naming for the smiles is seven capital C's molecular formula um, and the cast number so if you guys have any other questions go ahead and email us at nocopaytutorials at gmail.com go ahead and comment below any other chem informatics questions or concerns that you have and we can try to make a next video on that so thank you subscribe like and we'll see you soon